Okay, this is the ninth tutorial in the series, Action Script 3 for Games. And uh, that last one was a real um, boatload of information. So this one is going to be a lot simpler, a lot shorter. But um, it's basically going to be one of a few tutorials that's going to transition us away from coding in the timeline. And of frames and um, we're, this is a little bit anyway the topic of this tutorial is instances and the display list so what is an instance now in order to have an instance you need you need to be dealing with a class now an instance is one copy of a class and I'm starting we're gonna go into the code window but I'm starting here because this is where you're used to dealing with instances whenever you do this you've got our character we're, we're used to here he's of class flyer I just created an instance of flyer of the flyer class. Now he now this instance doesn't have a name. You could see here this this field that we've been using. This is this is giving an instance name because this is an instance. It's merely a copy of the class. You can drag out as many as you want. Instance one, instance two, instance three. They all can have unique names, but if you make a change to any one of them, man, this is going to be ugly. See, I can't even do that. I have to locked. Of course, it's locked. It's preventing me from doing stupid things like this. Coloring all over his face. That's a real jerk move, right? So, as you can see, because it's an instance and they're not unique symbols unique they're not unique movie clips they're just copies i graffitied over all of them so we're gonna undo that horrible crime there we go um but the point is these are all instances now we're going to do the same thing the same thing is dragging this to to the stage which is the display list Instead of Flash doing this for us, we're going to be doing it ourselves because we need to later on. So we might as well now. So what we're going to do is we have this, sorry, before I get to the code window, as you know, in the library, we have a flyer and it's, there's, you can see it says AS linkage, it's small, but hopefully you can see it. I'm going to go to properties. So what, this is that box that comes up when you first create it. You can also modify it later by right-clicking in the library and selecting properties. So it's export for action script, export on frame one is the default, and it's class flyer. And notice here, the base class is movie clip because it's a movie clip. And that goes into, if you stuck around to listen at the end of the last tutorial, um, about 20 three minutes in if you want to go back and check that out I I go into how things inherit the concept of inheritance which is one of the base concepts of object-oriented programming there's inheritance there's encapsulation and uh, polymorphism I think is the third now th those are more abstract and we don't need to get into that now but inheritance is I think the easiest of the three to understand and it's simply the idea that you build objects build on objects and why why write the same code again the movie clip class has all these properties that are great why are we gonna rewrite them so anyway so we're gonna do the code equivalent of that drag code equivalent and the equivalent we would also be giving it a name flyer etc we're going to do the code equivalent of that 
keep that in mind. That's all we're doing. So we're going to go into our document class, the same file from our last tutorial, just deleted out the stuff we don't need. And we're going to create a, what I call, people use different words for it, but I call a global variable. It's global in the sense that it's, number one, it's public. If you don't see, pub, if you don't write public, by the way, it defaults to public, which means any other class can access it. We're going to create a flyer. The same thing we've been doing. Flyer, and this is where you write the class, just like we wrote integer uh, before that, number, etc. It's of class flyer, which is our custom class from the library. And we say equals new flyer we put here and once again to reiterate the new keyword signifies to call the constructor function it signifies we're constructing a new object so we've got flyer that's the name of it that's the name of, of our flyer object our flyer movie clip in fact because it's a movie clip it's this so what we're going to do here in our constructor function is all we're going to do for right now is, you know what, just to, so you get the idea of the chain, let's just call this start game, even though it's, there's no game yet. So we're going to write our start game function. So our constructor function runs, and all it does is call the start game function. And all the start game function is going to do in this case is add our character to the screen. And you're going to see it's going to put it at 0, 0 coordinate, because I didn't tell it where. So actually, it's up there. Now, if I expand this window, you'll see it, but it's actually in the top left corner of the stage. And if you remember, if you remember, uh, I covered coordinates. This is x zero, y zero, six x six forty, y zero, etc. Six forty, four eighty, zero x four eighty, y is down here. So z zero zero is the default if you don't specify. I'm going to give it a coordinate and then I'm going to explain what's going on. So before we, before I add it to the screen, I like to tell it where. So you know what? We're going to, we're going to, I'm going to show you a neat trick for centering something. We're going to say the flyers X is equal to stage, stage width divided by half. By the way, I'm going to throw in the back of your head, multipl uh, multiplication is quicker than division. So you know what, I'm just going to go ahead and use it. Multiplying by times by 0.5 is the same as dividing by 2. It's a half. We're just trying to get the half. But I use multiply because it's actually a little quicker to process than division, at least in ActionScript. Flyer X is equal to stage, stage width, divided by 0.5 so divided by 2 so it's saying where to put where do you want to put it in the middle of the stage flyer y equal to stage height multiplied by 0.5 this is the multiply sign so if it's the width multiplied by a half there you go the height multiplied by a half you have the center it's in the center so you can see it's not moving because we got rid of all the code of the last tutorial. I'll remind you there, there's actually, there's not a single line of code in anywhere in the flash file. Nowhere, no code in the flash file, zero. And that's the point. So th this right here, what you're looking at is the equivalent of 
creating a new instance of the flyer class. Well, constructor function runs, it calls start game, which is this function that I just wrote right here. Some extra space here. And when start game runs, it says it gives the coordinates for this flyer, this global variable. It's global because it's not inside of any functions. Anything that's up here, anything that's between the, the class declaration and the constructor function is, is global. Anything that's not in a function is global. It's, it can be accessed anywhere in this file. And I want to illustrate that point, but for now, it's important to understand that this is the equivalent of dragging a movie clip out of the library onto the stage. When we say add child, this is where the concept of the display list is. We're adding a child display object to the parent. And that's going to be something that is also difficult to explain and I'm going to slowly uh, present that concept to you but as I showed you in the last if you go also go to the end of the last tutorial I had up the Adobe uh, documentation and it showed the full list of all the classes that a movie clip inherits from and one of those is a display object con container a movie clip as well as a sprite is a display object but it's also a display object container meaning it can contain other display objects a flyer is a movie clip so they're both movie clips now our document class is a movie clip the stage the, st the stage is holding this display object the, st the stage is the parent of this display object now, I'm curious if what happens if we trace. There you go, right there. Perfect illustration of the concept. Trace, flyer, parent. It's a child. We're adding the child to the display list. We're adding it to the stage. In this case, the main stage. So the ch it's it's called. This is again the concept of a parent child. So I traced the flyer parent. It was, basically, I was asking the computer, what is the parent of this flyer instance? And what did it write? Object main. There you go. Our document class is its parent. So. This is just, a, again, this is connecting the two concepts in this tutorial, instances and the display list. Instances are copies of objects. And the display list is everything you see in Flash. And just the parent-child relationship, again, to go back to everyone's roots as designers, animators, website builders, whatever, you know, I come from that background too before I learned to program. The parent-child relationship is the same thing. Uh, come on, computer. Catch up with me here. Um, if I, for instance, create a new layer within this, I draw a red square, and you know what? I convert it to a symbol, I make it a movie clip, red square. Well, guess what? The red square, this here shows the same hierarchy. The flyer is a child of the main timeline, and the square is a child of, of that. This is making sense. So it's nested. It's, it's the same way in when you were making animations, you would 
you know, nest a character's arm inside of this. Same way this this character has these are actually PNG sequences because they were not drawn in Flash. But this square is a child of the flyer. It's inside of it. I'm double clicking to going into it. How does this I hope this makes sense? Because this is the code equivalent of nesting your animations or nesting anything. We added the flyer to the stage and we're going to be talking more about the display list and everything that goes along with that. But this tutorial, the point was to teach you about instances and how we can make as many as we want. New flyer. There, I just made another one. You know what? Flyer 2. I'm just copying this code. There we go. He made a second, and now he's got his red square to go with him. Look at that. So again, uh, I hope this made sense. And um, thanks for watching. Please subscribe. And uh, yeah, bear with me. It'll all make sense, I promise. Thanks.